Hello everyone and welcome to EduServe Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desa. I am a consultant, gastrointestinal and HPV surgeon at Lilaki Hospital, Mumbai. Very common myths that we have seen. If you ignore cancer, it will not happen. Things does not work that way. Cancer is contagious. The answer is no. The risk factors may be contagious, but the cancer by itself is not contagious. So you don't need to shy away from cancer patients. Don't make it a taboo. It's just a disease like diabetes, you need to treat it. I have family history, hence I will surely have cancer. So when we stress on family history, understand that the incidence of having cancer is not 100% for each and every person with a family history of cancer. And that is why it is important to meet a doctor. A person has a family history of colon cancer, his family goes on Google, reads about 20 syndromes of colorectal cancer, goes into depression. A better way is that you have a family history of cancer, you have a doubt, talk to a doctor, solve your doubt and then go ahead with your life. A common question these days is avoiding sugar and then I will not get cancer. Things don't work that way and things are not that simple. Even if you do not eat sugar, you can still have cancer. An important point is mindset. So there are a lot of theories about psychological effects of the response of body to cancer. Mindset does not affect cancer growth. If it has positive mindset, the patient can fight cancer better. The patient can take care of himself or herself better. A positive mindset definitely improves the outcomes of treatment, but just improving the mindset without any other treatment is not going to stop cancer. Growth. So that is again a misconception. I will do all the treatment and tests possible. Again, wrong. You may do a platinum health check or the best possible health check that is available in your hospital or in your vicinity. But if you have not been screened properly by a doctor, you will still miss a test. A female patient does not need a PSA, where whatever amount of money you have, because a female does not have a prostate gland. So things like that. So don't do all the tests and treatments. Consult a doctor and then do your health check based on focus screening. Cancer treatment is horrible than disease itself. In the past, the cancer treatment had a lot of side effects. Currently, a lot of side effects have been taken care of. There is holistic approach to cancer care where you change your nutrition. You look at a psycho-oncologist for psychological support. You look at side effect control with chaperones. So there are people who are there to help you. So don't think that cancer treatment is as horrible as it was in the past. I can do nothing to stop cancer from happening. It's destiny. This is wrong to a lot of extent and you will see in this series we have a lot of videos on GI cancers that there are preventive strategies present and you can take charge of your health. So it is not completely destiny. Of course nature plays a role but there are a lot of factors that are in our hand and at least we can control those factors or seek help early. If it's stage 4 cancer, there is no treatment. So I always tell my patients that don't go for stage as a number. Okay, There are four stages of cancer, but they are for doctors to compare data and to identify treatment goals. Stage 4 does not mean anything to a patient. And it just cares the patient. So don't, in your consultation, actually ask a stage. See what the target of treatment is. Even in stage 4 cancers, there are a lot of treatment options. We have stage 4 patients who have lived for more than 10 years. So it does not mean that if it is stage 4, you are going to die in 6 months. So understand these concepts from a doctor. Clear your misconceptions. Avoid googling your symptoms. Avoid taking help from Google or AI. AI is coming up in a big way. Understand that it is augmented intelligence. It is just there to augment human intelligence. So unless you are sharp enough or you have enough knowledge about these diseases, the augmentation of intelligence is not going to help. So clear these misconceptions. If you can identify red flags, that is more than enough. 
Once you have identified your red flags or if you have symptoms or signs, meet your doctor and solve your problems. If you can follow this, be aware okay, of the symptoms. And if you can be aware of your symptoms, consult your doctor early. And that is the best way to prevent or at least detect the cancer as early as feasible. Thank you.